Soft skills Reporters must bring certain soft skills to the job. These are character traits that you won't learn in a classroom setting, but instead, come naturally or are attained through life experiences. These are some of the most important soft skills for reporters. Observational skills and analytical ability, some people are natural observers who assess situations without bias or prejudice. Similar to scientists doing research, reporters need to be able to analyze events and data without allowing emotion to get in the way. Curiosity and skepticism, to do your job well, you have to be the kind of person who wants to know more. You have to question and seek verification for everything. There's an old cliche that's been repeated in newsrooms for generations, if your mother tells you she loves you, find a second source to verify it. Communication skills, you will need superb verbal communication skills to broadcast the news. Interviewing sources also requires you to be able to establish a rapport with them, which requires good interpersonal and listening skills. Additionally, on-air reporters must be personable. You must be able to effectively convey information through the written word if you're working with print or online outlets. Reasons to become a TV news anchor The chances are slim that most people in TV news will ever become a top TV news network anchor like Scott Pelley on CBS or a morning anchor like Matt Lauer on NBC or Robin Roberts on ABC. There are simply too few available positions for everyone with ambitions to be a top network anchor star. Even so, you can find fulfillment in the hundreds of anchor jobs at local TV stations across the country. The salary of a typical TV news anchor won't reach into the millions of dollars. But money alone shouldn't be the key to your happiness. There are 5 compelling reasons that a TV news anchor job may be right for you. You like a challenge? TV news anchors are faced with a variety of challenges. Brian Williams was already a successful news anchor when he was chosen to replace the legendary Tom Brokaw at NBC. That's a challenge! Coming down to the local level, let's say you're hired to help turn around the Nielsen ratings at the lowest rated station in town. That presents a different type of challenge. Some people can't face these challenges because they can't predict whether they'll be successful. For TV news anchors, the guarantee of success isn't what drives their decision making. It's more about the opportunity. You thrive under pressure. During the September 11, 2001, terrorist attacks, anchors from the major broadcast networks down to the tiniest designated market area, DMA, were faced with a story they had never experienced before. All anchors had to keep their composure while reporting on one of the most unthinkably horrible stories of their career, that required not only to focus but the ability to put personal emotions aside to communicate professionally. Hopefully, we'll never experience another day like that. But a TV news anchor has to be able to remain calm during a time of crisis. Sometimes that crisis is a bad news story. Other times, it involves some on-air technical problems that the anchor has to work through. You're willing to work long hours. TV news anchors may appear to have cushy jobs, but their station or network providing clothes, hair care, and makeup. But those typical perks are small rewards considering the personal sacrifices many anchors have to make. Then there are the public appearances, photo shoots, speeches, and charity boards that also require attention. A news anchor is a part journalist, part celebrity. Her TV station will use her as a tool to boost ratings and revenue. A news anchor can't expect 9 to 5 work hours. It may be the toughest aspect of the job that TV news anchors have to accept. Some viewers won't like you. Female anchors will be criticized for their hair and wardrobe, or be thought of as prima donnas or as being too aggressive. You're willing to take career risks. If you're an anchor in Albany, Georgia, and a TV station in Boise, Idaho, offers you a job for a $10,000 raise, would you take it? The answer to that question can help you determine some of the risk factors that come with a career as a TV news anchor. That's part of the job that can be tough, especially if you have a spouse and children and are suddenly forced to look for work. It's best to have your media resume ready to send out because you never know when you'll need it. Not everyone who wants to work in TV news can meet these qualifications or are willing to put up with the drawbacks of the job. Notice that none of them have anything to do with being a good journalist. But those who accept these risk factors can find rewards in delivering the news on TV each day. What's it like being a news reporter? You're willing to work long hours.
TV news reporter may appear to have cushy jobs, but their station or network providing clothes, hair care, and makeup. But those typical perks are small rewards considering the personal sacrifices many reporter have to make, a news anchor can expect 9 to 5 work hours. Do news reporters make good money? News anchors make an average of $38,647 per year in the United States. The typical salary range for news anchors starts at $14,000 per year and extends to $95,000 per year. Experience level and location are two of the biggest factors that affect news anchors' earning potential. News reporter and journalist career info A TV journalist reports live from the scene. By Don Rosenberg McKay updated January 4, 2020. Being a reporter is all about doing research, digging into numbers and finding the data that is most relevant to readers, listeners, and viewers, and being able to tell your stories in a way that shows the intended audience how that data affects them. Working as a reporter can be a challenging and exciting job, and one day rarely is like the next. However, it can also be difficult work that often leads to unpopular stories and negative feedback and it rarely pays well compared to other jobs that require similar skills. Different Media While the job of researching the news is the same as it always has been, different media allow for different means of storytelling. Print lends itself to longer, more in-depth stories and detailed reflection on events and their impact. Television and radio, meanwhile, has allowed reporters to bring stories to audiences as they are happening. The internet has transformed news from something that was read or viewed only at specific times each day to something that is constantly updated in real time. Increasingly, reporters are expected to work in each medium. In addition to writing stories, they also may record elements of some stories to be uploaded to the web as audio or video. The Challenges of Being a Reporter While part of the excitement of being a reporter stems from new and different stories to cover each day, that also can be physically and emotionally draining because it leads to inconsistent work schedules and the need to be on call to cover major news events as they happen. Even the most dedicated reporters occasionally will dread hearing the phone ring, knowing it means their night or weekend is about to be consumed by work. Additionally, reporters sometimes face a lot of negative feedback from those in the communities they cover, from citizens who follow their work to those being covered in stories. While it's the job of reporters to be objective and factual, readers and sources who have inherent biases may target their frustration at those who report on the news. This dynamic is similar to being a referee in sports. Most calls, no matter how accurate, are likely to upset half the people watching. It takes thick skin to be a reporter. And job outlook. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS, Employment for reporters and correspondents is expected to decline by 10% in the years leading to 2028. This is a significant decline compared to the 7% growth projected for all occupations during that time period. Those seeking news have increasingly turned to the internet in recent decades, causing a decline in traditional forms of print, television, and radio advertising revenue. Online advertising revenue has not been able to fully replace that revenue leading to reduced news coverage and, ultimately, fewer jobs. As of 2018, the median pay for reporters and correspondents was about $41,000 annually, according to BLS. Education and Experience A bachelor's degree in journalism is most beneficial, but it's not always required. Entry-level applicants who gained experience through internships or through work at college newspapers can get a foot in the door if their previous work shows promise. Even those with journalism degrees should have some amount of work samples they can show potential employers. A minor or second major in a relevant field also is very helpful if seeking a career covering a specialized area. For example, if your ultimate goal is to be a business reporter, a minor in business will be every bit as beneficial as a journalism major.